Hey, 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 what's up, what's up? Alright, so going to go ahead and give you guys Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 8, episode 2. Yep, yep, yep. That means that, yes, I'm caught up with this particular series, because I'll be uh, hitting you guys with the next video as soon as it comes out. I think it comes out, if not within the next hour, within the next two hours. And then all at least you with is love hip-hop, right? Oh, right. And I think it's, I only missed maybe like three or four of that, so definitely I'll be completely caught up tomorrow. You feel me? So... Picking up where the fuck we left off is at uh, uh, Cynthia's eyewear party. Uh, Kenya and uh, Shitty is going at it. And, um, you know, she said some shit. I forget exactly how it came out, but Kenya apologizes for calling her a bitch. <laughs> so I was laughing my ass off, just like, of all the shit to apologize for, you apologize for that. And Kenya leaves. Now, Candy, everybody wants to hear try to call, uh, you know, Kenya messy. I, I like to say I love music, Candy, but we know Candy be low-key fucking messy. Because <clears throat> Patricia comes up to hug her. And, you know, she's just like, oh, yeah, you know, because, you know, you was doing this, came in, started some shit, yeah, yeah. He congratulates her on uh, being pregnant. And she goes back to the same exact shit and send the Santa right the fuck there. I'm just like, you know what the fuck you was doing. And you know, uh, what, what else? Yeah, Patricia pretty much um gets all right up and shit, and pretty much just you know smooth walks the fuck away from you know Mel and Cynthia, and you know Sheree is talking to the girl talking about some she reform bitch from what bitch where bitch what reform what shit okay moving the fuck on, we got Kenya and now enters uh Miss Kim so now we officially get to see Kim. And if you guys watch R&B Divas LA, uh, pretty much Real Housewives of Atlanta did that up until them bringing on that bullshit ass artist that I ain't finna talk about. She really ain't a fucking artist. You didn't see her until they actually show, you know, the intro with her being in it. So they did the same thing with uh, Kim. So we didn't see Kim in the intro for last week, but she was definitely in this one. So, you know, <clears throat> can you throw on some shade at Kim? I really wasn't feeling it. But you know, it's what it's in Kenya wants her to come on as a director for her uh, pilot life tour. It's on now. I had already said it. it I forget what video it is. I do too many motherfucking videos to remember. But I did say I do feel that Kim is going to be almost like the Dr. Jackie of um, this show. Or better yet, the Mama Joyce. Before y'all clown a motherfucker, when I say Mama Joyce, I mean the early Mama Joyce, the motherly. Mama Jo is not the bullshit that we see out of her right now. But just, you know, just that calm spirit, just the level-headed individual, you know, the voice of reason, more or less. And I really would hate to see somebody pull out of character. But I do want for her to get, you know, horse a little slow ass together. Talking about, so if I ain't see you anymore, I want her to get her ass together for that. But we'll get to that when that episode airs, right? So, what else we got? Cynthia and her business partner, you know, she doesn't want to miss business and, you know, uh, work, but, you know, she breaks down. It's very sad because you can tell that she's holding a lot of stuff in and just had to release. We all know what happened. Not going to talk about it. Horsha wants to do a fucking lingerie line now. And her team is uh, concerned about uh, her work ethic and also her being in a relationship because, you know, when something happens, she shut down. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah face of a motherfucker that really gives a fuck moving on so you got a fake truck <clears throat> with cynthia they're mending and then you have uh you know shitty with um candy and i think it's the last time that we see uh shitty ass her daughters are very fucking beautiful i, I, I will she has some beautiful daughters i will, that's all that i'm gonna say they are definitely too young for me but she has some beautiful daughters i just want to put that out there but, um, you know, Fake Trip pretty much tells uh, Cynthia how Mel poured out all the motherfucking tea and shit. And I'm just like, ooh, you trying to stir some shit. Trying to stir some shit. And it seems like she's almost trying to, you know, like, do little jabs and, like, kind of, like, slightly pay her back for what the fuck happened last year. That's just what I think. I could be wrong, though. What else? Um, so Fake Trip and Cynthia make nice. And, you know, Candy pretty much talks about the situation you know, with shitty and pretty much as the whole, <clears throat> you know, thinking that her and our Phaedra was cool. But of all the people for her to confide in, she confides in fucking Nene Lee's. And shitty is just like, what? She was like, exactly. And we all felt the same exact way. We we did. We we all did. It is what it is. So now we get to Miss Kim. You know, like I said, she has been married for eight years, you know. 
Let's clap it up for that. She seems happy, glowing the whole entire night. Has two kids, two boys, and is happy about that. Is not fighting for a girl because she likes being the only queen in the house, and I'm not mad at her. And she's not Hollywood, and I think that is the most beautiful thing. She's like, you not finna see me on the red carpet. Like, if I ain't in the motherfucking movie, if I'm not on the project, my ass ain't gonna be there. And I can appreciate that. You know, it's just like she's doing her, she's living her life, she's taking care of her family, doing what she need to do, and being humble about the shit. Like, I fucking love that. I love that she's not Hollywood. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to see. Uh, she's launching uh, her website. It's gonna be a maternity, uh, maternity line, amongst other things. You know, trying to get them coins. Still ain't mad about her. And again, I'm just gonna say that I think she has a beautiful spirit, and I really do love it. And again, you know, hopefully she will add that balance to the show that we gonna need. But again, I just want, I just want her to get one motherfucking person together as of right now. So Candy and Don Juan, all I'm gonna say is this Don Juan is acting like he is not well, he's always acting like he's married to fucking Candy, but that's what I'm getting from him. And he show he's doing a whole lot of that. I'm not finna entertain Don Juan too much, mostly because I'm pretty sure if I go watch catch up on some of these motherfucking videos that my fellow YouTubers did, I know they probably read his ass, so ain't no need for me to do it, you know. But Tyler on his motherfucker Rihanna kick, you know, giving me Rihanna tease, talking about some bitch better have my money. He ain't say that, but that was the vibe I was getting when he was uh, talking to Candy, saying, "When you gonna talk to fake your, uh yeah, tell her I want my money." I'm just like, ooh, kind of give me a little bit of pimp talking shit, but it's all right. What else we got? So Horsha, she is jelly. She is fucking jelly. Like, how the fuck you mad that your sister pregnant when you ain't? Get the fuck out of here. Uh, what else? You know, she presents. Um, you know her new man and the funny thing is she was like because I haven't presented anybody since my husband and she said that if y'all caught it be, like, here's the thing shit is real subtle y'all see that she wasn't a main cast member for last season and it's not because of the fight that she had with Kenya it's because that she was not willing to share her personal life on camera because she didn't have shit else going for her so when she didn't want to you know bring on any love interest she got bummed down to a friend of the cast so now she is more than willing more than eager to show off because she wanted that motherfucking peach I, I i see you i see you shit we don't see each other because but i see you because you, you you ain't you ain't that gonna see all this you ain't ready you ain't ready mm -hmm. fuck else her team and her circle talking child they spilling everything talking about this boy is hooking up with porn stars hooking up with trans i'm just like hot damn i'm like whoo she ain't got nobody loyal around her motherfucking ass i'm just saying shit i hope everybody was drunk but they said this shit on camera i don't fucking know and i'm all i'm gonna say is this Horsha, I'd have said her name correct. Oh gosh darn it. But Horsha seems like she is extra fucking thirsty. Like I don't know like I I, I just don't know. I just don't know. Y'all let me know. But let me go ahead and get to the highlight of motherfucking night. So now we got Candy and Fatra. So I'm not finna go fucking blow by blow and shit. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, you know, I'm mad first off. Y'all Candy started tearing up. I'm just like, you know what? Come on now, Candy. Candy, one of the first times we see you on the first episode, you talking about some yo ass hunger. Walking the motherfucking ass. Uh, I forget what the fuck you wanted, but, you, but you're hungry. I ain't said on the last motherfucking episode, on the last damn review, but you're hungry. Now you sitting here tearing up. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. I'll do that. And you know, Faye Tramat because she didn't reach out to her. Mm hmm. And Phaedra is mad because they're storing Apollo. She's talking about the feds were coming, you know, to look for my shit. And I love the shake because Candy was like, I'm pretty sure they was looking for something that's other than a couple of motherfucking bikes. And you are right about that. What else, y'all? And, you know, she starts tearing up and shit. She's talking about some, you know, the money and shit. And, you know, because her other thing is like, I didn't like how y'all were talking about my situation and whatnot. And the money came up somehow, and she was just, and you know, Candy was just like, oh, so now I was about the money. Cause last that I checked, you make money when you, when you close your eyes. And she was like, you know, well, my husband was going out with your husband at the strip club, shit, taking you know food out of my kids' mouths, this, that, and the third. And it's just like almost like she's trying to low key blame Ty. Here's the thing, like I said, Phaedra has yet to own up to any fucking thing, but wants everybody to be at fault for her fuck ups. You feel what I'm saying? And then she starts crying. I was not moved by them tears. I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
And Faketra says she gonna talk to Ty. It appears that her and Candy made nice. Candy dumb. I love Miss Candy, but she dumb because she fell for the okie dog. I wouldn't fail for her. Then enters Don Juan. Okay. And Don Juan pretty much just like, the fuck? <laughs> and he pretty much goes in, which I know Don Juan is extra, but I was slightly, slightly here for him because he was even saying that. Why the fuck do we need to be fucking sympathetic? She knew that he was a motherfucking convicted felon when she was dating his ass on air matches with his ass in the hood with his ass she fucking knew this before she married her after so she married a motherfucking criminal doing criminal ass shit but she want to sit you know and i understood what he was getting at but you know he does cross the line it is what it is to candy like, hey, if candy like it i love it and you know he pretty much is, is hit that can you trust her and he wasn't moved by her tears again i wasn't either and even when so far I say that you have gone through shit, you know, with your mother, with your husband, you know, lost your mother-in-law amongst other things. And what the fuck has she been? What does she know about your pregnancy? Not shit. Don't trust it. And that's it. That's all I got. Um, yeah, that's it. So hopefully we get some fire on this episode because now I'm back and this is going to be the very first time that I can give y'all something that actually somewhat live as shit happens. I cannot wait. It better be a good fucking episode. I'm going to be mad if it's not. That's all I got you guys. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys later on tonight for that particular video. Until then, I love you all. Peace.